All right, I'll start off giving you some clues and see if you can tell what I'm about to make. Okay, here I have finely shredded Kobe and Monterey Jack cheese. I also have some finely shredded taco blend cheese. I also have some classic ho traditional sweet basil sauce. Okay, well, the garlic, I'll leave that off. <laughs> okay, I have um, ricotta cheese here. And if you haven't guessed, this is going to be the taker here. I have lasagna. So tonight I'm working on lasagna. And what I have here is water. I just have the fire going um, so I can get the water boiling. And I have some ground beef here. I'm going to turn the fire on here. All right, there we go. Move that cheese over a little bit. I went too close. All right, what I'm going to do is get this browned up. And I already have some onions here chopped up. I'm going to use the onions. And I want you want to chop them up kind of fine because um, you don't want them to be, um, you don't want just big chunks in your, in, in your lasagna. And if your husband's like mine, he's not big on onions. <laughs> um, all right, and I have my wooden spoons here. These are great. If I had wooden spoons in the beginning, my pot wouldn't be looking like this. All right, and I'm going to just be using the black pepper, the seasoned salt, the onions, and the garlic. And um, once everything gets going really good, we'll move on to the next step. All right, here's my beef here. Um, it's browned up a good bit, and I drained most of the oil from it. I've added the onions that I chopped, and I'm going to go ahead and add garlic. Um... I like to add a good bit of vegetables um, when I'm making lasagna, um, uh, just for the, the benefit that the vegetables have for have for you. Okay, my water is almost there, not quite. And um, I did want to point out that I didn't want to add too much salt to the water, and I'm not gonna add too much um, the seasoned salt. I'm not going to add too much to the beef. Um, you want to keep in mind that the sauce has salt in it as well, so you just don't want to overdo it. And this is a, you know, it's kind of coming out kind of slower, but just want to make sure I don't add too much. Just a you know, couple of go-arounds. And also have black pepper here. It's going to be the other thing I'm going to add. Not too much either of this because I don't want it to be too spicy, but just a, enough to give the top a pretty good coat. And I'm going to get this stir it on up here and get everything mixed in really well. And the water's just about there. It's probably good enough for me to go ahead and add the lasagna in. So I'm going to keep this going. What I'm going to do um, once I get everything mixed in pretty well I'm going to go ahead and add the um, Classico, the sauce to it. And once I get that done, I will show you all the next step. I want to point out um, right here that I have a 16 ounce um, box of lasagna. I have to make a good bit because we're a family of six. It usually leaves us with leftovers for like another day's worth. Um, all right, just wanted to point that out. I'm going to get ready to add it to the water, which is now boiling. And I'm going to get ready to add the sauce to the beef there. All right, have my lasagna going here. And this takes um, about a total of 10 to 12 minutes. I'm um, just kind of getting down into the pot right now. And as you can see, I went ahead and added the sauce to um, the beef. And you can use turkey as well. It's um, probably a little bit healthier for you. Um, okay, and what I did was just turn that down to low. I wanted to just stay kind of warm. Um, you don't necessarily have to because it's going to go in the oven anyway. But, um, just put it down on low. And I'm just waiting for the lasagna to soften up here so that I can get ready to um, move on to, um, layering everything in the pan. And, um, well, when everything's ready, we'll move on to the next step. I did um, go ahead and when, when I drain this, just rinse it off the lasagna. You want to rinse it off in cold water. Okay, now what I've done here is taken the ground beef with the sauce and 
I've just put a thin layer. I usually like to start it off um, with the layer of meat. And then I'll top it with the Kobe and Monterey Jack cheese. If you have not tried this type of cheese with your lasagna, you have to try it. It's really good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and layer. And then I'll come back. I'm going to put the cheese on top of the meat. And then I'll layer some lasagna on top. And then ricotta on top of that. And I'll just show you step by step. Okay, and this is with um, one layer of the Kobe and Monterey Jack cheese. I'm going to be moving on to the lasagna. And here we have the lasagna, one layer on top of the meat and the cheese. And then I'm going to move on to the ricotta. And it, ricotta works better if you leave it out for just a little while, let it kind of soften. And I just like to take a tablespoon to um, layer it on there. It makes it... Um, just a lot easier to get in there and just kind of spread it. it makes it easier to spread the spoon I do like to take it and kind of stir it a little bit just to get it softened and I've already done that and I just take it and just spread it over on top so I can't do that and hold the camera at the same time but I'll show you um, once I'm done with that step alright and here I have the ricotta um, layered on top of the lasagna Okay, don't worry about it not being too pretty. It's going to be fine um, when everything is all together. Everybody's going to love how it tastes if you have lasagna lovers. So what I'm going to do is take another layer of ground beef and then another layer of, of the Monterey Jack cheese and um, then another layer of lasagna and then more ricotta. And I'm only going to have one more layer of the, the meat with the sauce in it. Um, I usually divide it up into two layers and then I just keep stacking um, lasagna cheese, lasagna cheese until it's um, all done. Okay, so I'll show you um, once I get done how everything looks when it's over. Okay, this is a final lasagna, everything layered up. So what I have is meat, then I have the, the cheese, and then the lasagna, and then um, the ricotta, and then I repeated that, and then um, I had lasagna left over and not enough meat for another layer. So that's a total of two layers of meat. And what I did, I put lasagna on top of the last layer of meat, and then I topped that with um, ricotta cheese. And then one final layer of lasagna. And the final layer of lasagna had eight strips of the lasagna because I just want to use it all. And then again, I topped it with the Fiesta cheese. And if you don't have Fiesta cheese, it's just, um, I believe it's cold. No, I'm sorry. Cheddar and, oh, let me see. Cheddar Monterey Jack cheese, and it just has um, taco seasoning in it, so if you need to make your own, um, just don't put too much taco seasoning because you can barely see it there, but it does have that in there. I'm going to put this in. As you can see, I put a good bit of cheese in there. It's going to be really cheesy, and the kids are going to love it. Husband's going to love it. You're going to love it. All right, or if husband's cooking, wife's going to love it. <laughs> all right, you're going to love it. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven, and I'll show you once it's all done. This, um, too, I would like to point out that it pairs great, of course, with garlic bread. Um, my family, we eat it with a jiffy cornbread, or you can eat it just as it is if you like, but, it, you know, it would just be more filling if you, like, maybe have a little bread on, alongside of it. Okay, see you soon. All right, and here we are with the finished products. And it's time to plate this up so that everyone can eat.